Bunch Bim. The site itself here is uh, Gilgar country. Gilgar means of the river. We've got an amazing array of uh, Aboriginal history. A lot of our history comes through uh, what we know as stories or dream time stories, what's been passed down uh, verbally. What we know today is we, we built permanent settlements uh, for ourselves as long as 6,600 years ago where we were actually able to manipulate the water due to this budge beam lava flow and use that to our advantage. It's the first site in Australia that has been listed by a uh, World Heritage Listing solely for its Aboriginal cultural values. The Department of Environment, Land, Water and Planning is really honoured to be working with uh, the traditional owners uh, of the Budge Beam site in Western Victoria to really ensure that the site uh, is well understood and appreciated by all Australians. Well, uh, we obtained World Heritage Listing uh, 12, a bit over 12 months ago and one of the issues that we want to be sure of, what values have we, have we uh, got out on country and have we recorded them all? For all um, that's been taken and stolen and held hand back since colonisation, um, we've found that country itself holds its stories and if we're the traditional owners, well we've got that primary seed to help access those stories. So this project was about procuring high resolution imagery and LIDAR for the Gundrik Mering Traditional Owners Corporation. The technology sends a beam of light, so it sends a radar down to the ground. So the LIDAR actually represents a digital 3D model of the ground and that's how the features are being identified. So using the data we were hoping to identify three main features. The ancient stone huts, the eel traps and segments of the ancient aquaculture systems. So the benefit of LiDAR is that it allows the traditional owners to map and visualise the site that they wouldn't be able to see with the naked eye. When we seen what it could do, properly do, we had an idea of what technology should do, but to see it actually on ground, uh, on country, see it proving you know, the engineering of our ancestors, it was pretty cool. Yeah, it was amazing. Dennis called and said they'd actually use the, the mapping technology and the data that we provided. They'd actually been able to identify more ancient stone huts. That, that day was the first day that I've actually seen it in action that to actually work. Just It, it was really that, that, that wow moment. I just thought, that's it, they've, they've got it. In the Muldoon's fish trap system, we found an extra 1,200 metres of fish trap channel off there. Uh, which was yeah, found using the LiDAR. So we were able to um, look at the LiDAR imagery on, on the computer um, and then find that on the map and go out and walk through the channels and the systems there. When you think about what it, what it can do, what the other stuff that we need to do, we, we can build models of, of country uh, and the systems, the aquaculture systems, for our elders to have a look at because it's, it's, it's rough country as you can see but to, if we can recreate uh, what our ancestors had in regards to their landscapes and the way they lived, the way they, their culture that we're all descended from, that's going to be extra special because um, our elders who, who have fought the fight, they deserve to see that outcome. The big thing that Gunditj Mara people have appreciated is that collaboration with different organisations, government organisations, uh, moving towards the same goal which is really to get Indigenous people at the forefront of Indigenous, not just tourism, but um, Indigenous stories, creating them stories for the broader community to hear. This is a signature project because it demonstrates Aboriginal self-determination in practice. It recognises ownership of cultural sites and cultural values and cultural knowledge. It respects it and it puts it into practice through a government department that recognises the rights of, uh, of traditional owners and we're really tremendously proud of that. All Australians should be proud of the site, really should you know, reach out and visit the site, get to understand it. As I said, it's older than the pyramids, uh, but many Australians wouldn't know that, wouldn't know about Budge Bim. But hopefully through the World Heritage Listing, hopefully through the work that we're doing, um, that that information through the Gundich Mara people will be made available to all Australians. It's a, it's a jewel, it's a, it's a cultural jewel for all Australians. We've had this passion forever and I, I think it's uh, something that we're able to share and really let the whole world see almost. Yeah.